Hello, <coughs> hello once again. Sorry, my uh, throat was a little scratchy. Um, it's gonna make here another short video. Um, actually got it, something to show off. It's kind of cool. Uh, issue one, I got been telling you is being inked and drawn, and I've actually got some concept pages sent to me. So I wanted to come and show that real quick. Uh, so I'm gonna show. I got three pages. Um, might be kind of hard to see on here. Here's page one. See, it's coming along really well. Page two. See all the inky and stuff. He's doing a really good job on it. He's got more, I think. Here's page three. He's got more done, but um, you know, he's got to scan them and email them to me. So it's you know slow going, but as you can see, it is coming along really well. Uh, looks probably better in person. These are scanned and emailed, so quality could have dropped off, but I think it looks really good right now. So that's one thing I wanted to show, to show that it is coming along. Um, not sure exactly how many pages total he's got inks like that, but um, from what I can tell, uh, it's, it's it's really pushing close. Land has been working a lot of hours. His job is killing him, so you know, obviously, you got to work to pay the bills, and so I can't, you know, I'd rather have the quality there. I don't want him to rush it. So, again, there's no set date when I'm going to try to go to printers. I still got to call and quote that. Um, until then, uh, I just started reading this, uh, The Why, Last Man. This is book one of the saga. There's quite a few books in it, but I just started reading this. Really good uh, story of, you know, every creature in the world with a Y chromosome, <coughs> males, uh, dying out of nowhere, except for one man, Yorick, and his monkey, Ampersand. So it's really good, kind of a t twist on the you know, last man in the world. So technically this guy is the last man so far. So I'm you know, about halfway through book one. It's really interesting. It's kind of like one of those things I've been reading it, and when network television makes bad shows, <clears throat> Knight Rider, um, and you kind of watch and say, man, they could have done better. They could have made a better show. Look at this. Make a TV show out of this. It will work. Uh, really interesting concept, but I can't really see it happening. But it would be awesome. So I, I recommend reading that. It's one of those things I recommend. Uh, really interesting. I'm going to go pick up more versions or more volumes of it soon because I'm almost done with book one and I don't want to kind of leave it on a shelf and stop reading it so I want to keep going with the flow. Uh, one other thing uh, I've been following up on is uh, Green Lantern movie coming out, seeing the trailer. I think it looks good. I've heard people think it looks dumb. I think it has a lot to do with Ryan Reynolds. Everyone's like, oh Van Wilder, he can't play the Green Lantern. Oh, he's I don't think it's a bad casting choice. I think he'll do a good job, and I think the movie's going to be good. But for those who don't want to see it or are hating on it, watch this. Uh, this is the DC mixing uh, mixing up with Warner, and they're been doing their whole animated movie sequences and series. Green Lantern First Flight. This one is really good. I recommend it. I got this used for thirteen dollars on Blu-ray. It was definitely worth thirteen dollars. Uh, it's got more of the adult oriented. I mean, the violence level is high. There's a few curse words, so if you have children, kind of might want to watch it first. But from I could tell from the Hollywood trailer for the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern, it looks really similar to the storyline of this. So if they do it right, I think it's going to be really good. But watch this. This is really excellent. DC has been doing the good stuff with their their animated movies on DVD and Blu-ray. This one I think is my favorite so far. I've seen a lot of good ones. Um, but this one is uh, probably one of my favorite ones. So I really recommend watching that as well. Uh, uh, you can probably hear in the background my son's starting to stir. I was taking a short nap. I was trying to get this video in real quick. But again, read why. It's a good, good graphic novel. Even Stephen King, I don't know if you can see it. He, he puts a stamp of approval on it. And so do I. I put mine on it. And for those who are looking a little upset over the Green Lantern movie coming to theaters, pick this up. I mean, again, I found it used for 13 bucks. You can probably get it brand new for 20 uh, So pick it up, watch it. You won't be let down, especially if you're a Green Lantern fan. It's really, really good. But anyways, I'm going to have to cut this out now. Hopefully you enjoyed the little page that's shown. Uh, read why, watch Green Lantern First Flight, and i got to go tend to the youngins. So I will see you guys again 
relatively soon.